Hello y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, what's good? If you are new, hey boo, I am back with another video, okay? So, let me just say happy Valentine's Day to you all. I don't know if y'all gonna get this on Valentine's Day or late, but let me just say ahead of time, happy Valentine's Day. Hopefully y'all got exactly what y'all wanted, okay? And before I even get started on this little topic and get into this video, I wanna share some little things. Every year, I make Valentine's Day a special day for me every year, okay? This is important days. If you are a lady, okay, you up on my channel, you should be making Valentine's Day a big deal every year, okay? I try to make Valentine's Day a big deal, whether I'm in a relationship or not, okay? I think I, I made a video last year about self-love. Hopefully, you was able to check that video out, but... It's a big deal. Valentine's Day is all about loving on yourself, having other people show love to you, and it's just a beautiful day, okay? I love love, okay? And so, of course, I'm going to come and celebrate and share that with y'all on my channel, okay? So, I love Valentine's Day treats, so I'm going to show y'all some few things that I gifted myself with, okay? So, we just going to start off with the Valentine's Day shortbread cookies, okay? Look! Shortbread Valentine's Day cookies. And I am going to be snacking and eating during this video. Okay, I know I'm going to get a little serious, but before we get serious, let's have a little bit of fun. Okay, before we get into this deep topic. I talk about a lot of deep things on my channel, but I like to have a little fun every now and then. So, <laughs> yes, it is so pretty, y'all. Like, I like pretty things. Y'all should already know this about me. But... I had seen these up in the store, y'all, and I just had to have these. I love having donuts with my coffee. And so I see these little donut holes right here. But look, when I had bought it, I didn't even pay attention to it. But when I had got home, I noticed that, like, if you look close, you see the little hearts on there. I did not notice that, child. I'm like, that is so cute. And I put some little loving on myself. I had seen this. This is a suave sweet vanilla silk this smells so good y'all this is like a new scent this is giving very much bath and body works okay when i smell this i feel in love okay so it got i'm just gonna share a little notes with y'all so y'all can get the gist of what it is giving okay so it says sweet vanilla cream sparkling rose and jojoba oil okay so you want to go pick this up girl if you haven't already like I can see this running out of stock. This is a hit right here. This is a hit. This is something that you could bathe and take a shower with. And you know how when you take a shower or a bath and you want to put on your lotions and perfumes and stuff, this is a scent that you could probably get away with not putting on no lotion and no perfume. This is just, this is going to do the trick, okay? So this smells so good. Yeah, I got to smell it again. Oh my God, it smells like candy, vanilla cookies, cupcakes, all that type of good stuff, okay? So, we just gonna hop straight into the video and y'all see the title. Let me eat one of these cookies first, okay? <laughs> I gotta give myself some energy before I get into this video. I guess you could call this a little small Valentine, little mukbang, okay? So, we just gonna, if y'all see me stopping, it's gonna be a lot of pause in this video because these cookies is so good. So, you probably gonna be seeing a lot of cuts in this video, but we just gonna get straight into the video, okay? So y'all see the title. I have been seeing this a lot within the spiritual community, within the Christian community. And that's just kind of what inspired this topic. I actually been seeing this for a while before I even started my channel. It's a lot of people that seem, seem to be getting confused out here. I'm seeing tons of messages of confusion and you can't play both sides on your walk. You have to choose wisely. If you, and I'm just going to be a little blunt in this video, okay? This really all coming in love, okay? I'm spreading y'all love this Valentine's Day. You have to choose a side. You can't be playing around with the devil and the Lord at the same time. And that's what I keep seeing a lot. And when I see things like that, it do anger me a little bit because the Lord is a big deal. The Lord is not to be played with. If you are going to be on a walk with Christ and you are trying to live for him, don't play with his name. Don't play around with this walk. It's just kind of frustrating and sad to see how people just kind of play around his name. They don't really take him seriously. And the one thing I keep seeing a lot 
And I don't know if it's intentional or people just don't understand what they're doing. It just seems like people just mixing the Lord in with the devil. When it comes to putting out certain messages, scriptures, prophetic messages. And I spoke about this in my witchcraft video where I said, some of these prophetic messages that y'all are listening to, these are basically tarot readings dressed up. Coming in a form as if it's coming from the Lord, okay? If y'all have ever watched a tarot reading before or ever listened to one before, there's really no difference between the two, okay? And I said this previous videos ago, I think it was a video where I talked about metamorphic spirits. It's a lot of people out here that know that there are so many people that are on their walk with Christ. These people are serious. They are dedicated to living their life for the Lord. And then you got the people that's really trying to change their life over to the Lord. Okay, they have decided that they want to walk this path. They are newcomers. They are basically babies in Christ. They are coming to learn and walk this path. And you got people out here just sowing messages of confusion. Like some of these people know very well what they are doing. Okay, they are taking tarot readings and they are making prophetic messages out of them. I think it's evil. That's playing with the Lord name to me. Okay. These people know what they're doing. They already know that people are hit to tarot readings. If they already know that people are picking up on a witchcraft thing. Okay. They already know that it's people out here like me that are trying to warn other people against witchcraft. So I can't even lie to you. When you hear some of these prophetic messages, not all of them, some of them. When you listen to these prophetic messages, you can tell that this person to put them tarot cards down and picked up their Bible. Okay. The enemy did not already spoke to them and told them, look, this ain't going to work. People already own this. People already know about this. You're going to have to switch up your routine. You're going to have to use a different tactic to pull the people in. The tarot readings are not going to work. You're not going to have to switch it to a prophetic message. Y'all can't tell me I'm the only person they know this days. All these prophetic messages, they are not prophetic it's a terror reading dressed up is a prophetic word i know i'm not the only person that see this that's playing with the lord name some of these people are doing it unknowingly and some of these people know what they are doing and it's sad because i'm seeing it a lot to where the youth are deciding to walk with christ i feel like it's a beautiful thing and a beautiful movement that people are deciding to turn their life over to the lord it's a beautiful thing. You can tell that a lot of people are serious about this walk. But you got people out here that is coming to try to deceive you. They are coming to try to deceive the youth. Some of these babies in Christ, I said this before, that a baby in Christ don't necessarily have to be somebody that's young. A baby in Christ can be somebody 60, 70, 80 years old, 50 years old, every age group. This person decided after all their years that they decided they want to change their life over to the Lord. It's never too late to turn your life over to Christ. It don't matter how old you are, okay? So it's plenty of babes in Christ out here. But it's people out here that is playing on the fact that you are a newcomer to this walk. So they are going to try to deceive you with messages of trickery. And they are going to come tell you that this word came from the Lord. And I already said on my channel plenty times before, the Bible speaks against terror readings. Okay? You got the people out here that's trying to mix it. We are going to talk about mental illnesses and things like that, too. This is what happens when you mix good with evil. It's going to blow up in your face. It's going to be chaos. It's going to be confusion. You cannot play both sides. You have to pick a side. And you have to choose wisely with which side you are picking. It's too many people out here that's trying to play both sides. They want messages that's going to cater to them. They don't want the truth. They want something that's going to make them feel good in a moment. So they are going to try to mix tarot readings in with biblical messages, biblical scriptures. They are going to try to make it make sense for them. This is how you see a lot of people out here losing their man, going crazy. Because you cannot walk with the Lord and the devil at the same time. I'm not the only person to see it. There's so many people out here that's going down a road of mental insanity. And they got people leading them down that path. They are either being led by other people down this path or they are leading themselves down this path. The Lord is the only way. You cannot mix prophetic messages with tarot readings and think that people are not going to be able to notice. 
The spiritual ones are going to be able to see that you are putting out messages of confusion. And you are trying to deceive people. It's wicked. It's wrong. And it needs to be called out. There's too many people out here that, and this is the one wicked thing about the deception when it comes to this thing. These people that are coming and giving these quote unquote prophetic messages, they know that it's a lot of babes out here in Christ that don't see through that. They feel like this is really something that is being sent from the Lord. Listen, I tell y'all on my channel all the time, form your own personal relationship with the Lord himself. Do not come and try to get confirmation from other people. You are supposed to get your confirmation from the Lord first before you listen to a message from someone else. Okay? You got to know the Lord first. I just be feeling sad for people sometimes because you got the people out here that just know they know they are deceiving people. And then you really got babes out here in Christ is really trying to walk this walk. They really want to have a strong connection with the Lord and they got people out here trying to deceive them. I don't know about y'all. I don't know if I'm the only one, but when I see prophetic message, I just skip right over it. I don't even listen to that stuff. Okay. Some people out here are real prophets. They have a calling. They have a prophetic gift. Okay. I just said plenty of times before, it's several spiritual gifts. And I tip my head to those people, but the ones out here that's playing with the Lord's name, trying to act like they really are a prophet when really they are trying to come and try to gain money, views, and subscribers by trying to deceive people. That's wrong. And some of these people know very well that that's wrong. You know. The tarot working goes against the Bible. So why are you playing with tarot cards? And then you bring the Lord into your prophetic messages. Okay. You mixing it. Putting false messages out into the world. Putting out messages of confusion to people. You don't know who picking this up. We are going to probably get into some sad account and let you know that you are probably being deceived. Okay. On your walk. If it don't sound right, it ain't right. If it don't feel right, it ain't right. If somebody come and bring you something, a message or anything, and you got to keep constantly thinking, you got too many questions in your head about what they just told you. It, it's not clear. It's not cut. It's not direct. They talking all over the place. They not really making sense. Okay. They talking about God. Then they talking about readings and tarot. They mixing it. That's the number one red flag to let you know that you are being deceived on your walk with Christ. You are being led down the road to destruction. Listening to some of these people out here. Some of these people are leading y'all down a road to destruction. Mental insanity. They are blocking your relationship with the Lord. They know exactly what they're doing. Some of them don't know what they're doing, but some of them know very well what they are doing. They are purposely coming to try to drive a rift between you and the Lord. You are trying to make this connection with the Lord. It's, it's a lot of people out here. I told y'all plenty of times on my channel. I grew up in the church, okay? Bible study all throughout the week. Sunday school, all of that. I didn't have all my Sunday school lessons. I didn't have all my Bible lessons. I know my scriptures. But you got some people out here that has never probably been to church a day in their life. They ain't never went to Sunday school. They ain't never did this. They ain't never did that. They probably have never really had that close connection and relation with the Lord. And they are deciding that they want to make this change. So they really don't know the ins and outs when it comes to this walk. And they need guidance. And they got people out here that's leading them astray. You cannot play both sides. You have to pick a side. It's either you're going to be with the Lord or are you going to be with the devil? You can't mix and mingle the energies and think that it's going to work for you. I said I was going to make a video about catered messages. How catered messages are actually hurting you. They are not helping you. Okay. If I see a title or something and it seems as though it seems like it's too good to be true. It seems like it's just trying to cater to my thoughts and my feelings. I won't even click on it and listen to it. If it don't seem like it's no type of truth in your message, if it don't seem like it's nothing that has been said on your spirit to give to other people, and it seems like you are just putting this out here to try to tickle people's ears. I don't like catered messages. I don't know. It's just something about it that just don't seem right. Okay? A catered message is just like this cookie right here. Okay? It's good to you. It look pretty. If you eat this whole thing, I ain't finna eat this whole thing. 
I'm probably gonna eat a couple of these and go on about my way. If I eat this whole thing of cookies, I'm probably gonna get a sugar rush or something like that. It's not good for you. It's just like eating a whole bucket of ice cream or a whole bunch of cupcakes and cookies. And you know, this stuff is, it's to snack on, but it ain't nothing for you to just overly indulge in. That's how it is with catered messages. It seems like it's a whole bunch of feel good stuff. Stuff that is just too good to be true. Like catered messages to me, it kind of puts you in a mad frame of, you know how we are going to talk about things that are going to happen when you are trying to transform your life, okay? You are coming out of the world and you are going on your walk with Christ, okay? This is a path that you are deciding to take, okay? It comes with a lot of sacrifices, okay? You know, probably gave up alcohol, weed, other kind of drugs, sex, reality TV, secular music, anything that is unholy, you have decided to give it up, okay? So we are going to come to the sense when it comes to catered messages. The enemy is out here heavy and strong. He knows our weaknesses and all of that. Okay. He knows that we are trying to walk this path for the Lord. So he is going to come up with all different types of tactics to try to reel you back in. So these catered messages is going to come in the form if it is serving a purpose in your life. But it ain't no different than being on drugs, having a whole bunch of sex outside of marriage. It ain't no different than listening to secular music, watching reality TV all day. It's no different. Everything that looks good, it sounds good to you, it's not good for you. And I don't want everything good being told to me. I want to hear the truth. So if you got somebody that's coming and tell you everything is good, and you sound like it's an agenda behind why they are trying to basically pump your head up. You know, it's just catering messages. It's just kind of like in a sense where you know how you want some money from somebody. So let's say this is you are a parent. You got kids. They don't never do their chores. Okay. Then all of a sudden one of your children come in your room. Oh, hey, mommy, what's going on? Uh, you want me to cook breakfast and dinner and lunch for you? I can clean up your room for you. I can do all this and that. You looking at them like they crazy. Like they ain't never done nothing like this before. You looking at them like you know they want something. It's just kind of like in the sense where you know your kids is trying to pump your head up because they want some money from you. So they don't try to blow your head up with a whole bunch of compliments and trying to be overly nice and you know they want something. You know what I'm saying? And that's kind of like in a sense where it comes to catered messages. This person is giving you all these feel good messages because it's an agenda behind it. Okay? It's something that they want from you. It don't even necessarily have to be money. It can be your time, your attention, your energy. Your energy is extremely important. If you give your energy to a whole bunch of catered messages, you are in a sense gonna feel as though you are being drained. It's something off about something that just looks too perfect. It seems like it's too good to be true. A catered message can look something like this, okay? I'm using myself as an example. I'm all made up, done up. It looks like everything is perfect. Catered messages is what's going to hinder your spiritual growth. If you are on this walk and you are feeling as though you are not really closely connected with the Lord, you got too many voices, you got too many messages, it's kind of distracting you, like it's kind of like in your way. Okay, I'm going to use this example when it comes to building a close relationship with the Lord. So you know how you, have you ever seen those billboards where they got Jesus is the way, God is the way, it's all the way up there and it's just like a big glaring sign it's just like a sand is just being heavy and sent okay and you trying to go towards this billboard towards this sand and you got all these different people trying to get in your way trying to get your attention like hey i got some messages right here yeah the lord told me to come tell you this told me to come tell you that and you stay keep on you trying to focus on this billboard this message up here that the lord has sent you the billboard is i'm using it the billboard is the lord you steady keep on trying to focus on this billboard, but you keep steady being distracted. That's how it is when it comes to being on your walk with Christ. And people just come with the wrong intentions, messages of confusion. You know, some people are purposely trying to come and confuse people to throw them up off their walk with Christ. They know exactly what they are doing. Do not let anyone pull you away from the Lord. Don't let anyone pull your focus away from the Lord. Focus your time and attention on the Lord. Get deeply rooted in your Bible. Get deeply rooted in your prayer. Get deeply rooted on your connection with Lord himself. Nobody else. Not me. Not her. Not him. Not them. None of them. Okay. The Lord first. The Lord first. Some of these people, they come, they know exactly what they're doing. They're trying to come and deceive people. The 
enemy don't want you having no relationship with the Lord. That's why he's sending these people in your path. If some don't feel right, if some don't sound right, then it's not right. Paying attention to your intuition, going with your first man. You know, a lot of times when you are thinking something in your first man, a lot of times you are right. Okay. What happens when you don't go with your first man? When you hear or see something, you end up paying for it later. You be like, dang, I know I should listen to my first man. I knew it was something not right about this. It just didn't seem right, man. I should have never listened to this person. Now look what's happening. You can't build no close relationship with the Lord because you got too many people in your way. And I know you're probably looking at this like, girl, you one of them. I always come and tell y'all, build y'all own close relationship with the Lord. I'm just a messenger. I come and put what's on my heart, my personal experiences, my relationship with the Lord. I would never try to come take the place of the Lord. I would never, ever. I don't want nobody getting the wrong idea about me. Okay? I will always say, build a relationship with the Lord yourself. Before you even come listen to any messages from me. Make sure you talk to the Lord first. Okay? Hence the Lord. I've been listening to this woman on YouTube. It seemed like she authentic. It seemed like she real. It seemed like her message is coming from the right place. Is she authentic? Um, reveal her spirit to me. I hope it's good stuff. I hope it's a good report. If the Lord is giving you about me. Because I know I come from an authentic place. Okay? I don't know what nobody else's agenda is. Okay? I'm just going off of what I see. It's just a lot of people on here. They are on here for the wrong reasons. They are on here trying to deceive people. Okay, I ain't want to let this message run for too long, but if you are a baby in Christ and you just starting out, you just feeling as though you are confused, you really don't know which way to go. The Lord is always the way to go. The Lord comes first before anything. He is your teacher first before anything. Okay, coming and get messages from other people and stuff like that. It's just kind of like in a sense, you know how when you go to the doctor, you got to go to the appointment desk and let them know that you have for your appointment. You got to sit down with the nurse and talk to the nurse and let them know your symptoms and stuff before the real doctor come in. Like being on the walk of Christ, coming and bringing messages from the Lord and things like that. It's just kind of like we his assistance in a way, like a nurse assistant. But when the doctor come in, the doctor know everything. The nurse can't do nothing but prep you and get you ready for the doctor. So the Lord is your doctor. He knows everything about you. Okay, he know your history. He know what you need to keep you going. And we are just there to assist. That's it and that's all. We ain't the big dog. Some people are going to come on here and try to come and make it seem as though they are a God or something like that. Like people supposed to be worshiping and praising them and falling at their feet. It's so many different levels to what you are going to witness on your walk with Christ. You are going to see so much foolishness if you have not already. It's going to be so many people that are going to be revealed to you. And if you have spiritual ass to see, you have uh, your own personal relationship in connection with the lord you are going to be able to see deception and if you don't see deception you're not able to read through a person's spirit then that's a problem there's a hindrance and blockage in your spiritual growth you are not going to have any sort of spiritual growth steady keep on listening to catered messages um catered messages are messages of confusion it don't matter how good it sounds it don't matter how good it tastes okay Too much of a good thing is a bad thing. Okay? Just remember that. There's something not right about something that's just too good. Ain't no flaws. Everything just seems too perfect. You're not going to see a lot of people that's going to be trying to compete. You can tell that this person might have started off on their walk with Christ. They was like on fire for him. You know, really just was all about him. But then along the way, they just developed a competitive spirit. And they just kind of lost their way. When you are on your path, you focus on the road ahead of you no distractions okay there's going to be so many distractions on your way towards the lord you have to have enough spiritual strength in order to be able to stay focused on what's ahead you're going to have so many people so many things in your face and around so many voices all of that on your path towards the lord when you focus on him in the bible it says have no other gods before me i'm a jealous god so trust and believe when you are making somebody else your idol you 
look forward to them. You know, you don't pray to the Lord first. You don't talk to him. You don't have a relationship with him. Trust and believe. He is angry with you. He is mad with you. He's trying to build a close connection with you, but you keep on giving all your time and energy to other voices and other people. Nobody can connect you to the Lord but yourself. Everybody's relationship and path is totally different. You can't walk nobody else's walk and nobody else can walk yours. You have to stay focused on what's ahead of you. Your purpose, your relationship with the Lord himself is going to make you want to be on fire for him. This is going to make you want to come worship him consistently. Tell other people about him. Keep steady exposing evil, okay? I don't care what nobody got to say about this video. You say whatever you want to say about me, but I'm going to come expose evil. If I see a message and I feel like it's a message of confusion, I feel like you are trying to lead people astray, I'm going to come point it out. I'm going to come let people know that this is what you need to be on the lookout for. For the babies in crisis out here just really just trying to figure this thing out, they are still kind of clueless, that's what you need to be looking out for, okay? Messages of confusion, catered messages, terror readings. Come in the forms if it's a prophetic message. But you could tell that this person be playing with tarot cards behind the scenes. And then coming online to try to tell you that they read this in the Bible and that the Lord told them is when the Lord ain't told them nothing. Stop playing with the Lord's name. Stop playing both sides. You need to pick a side and stay there. You are confusing people. You are leading people astray. The Lord is not going to have you confused. The Lord is not going to have you mixing witchcraft with scriptures in the Bible. The Lord ain't told you to come so no messages of confusion out here. And you could tell what some people are. We have already talked about the people that just really just stay intentional. They know they're coming to lead people astray. But we talking about the people that you could tell they really don't know what they are doing. They still trying to figure things out. Okay. They are still in a cross between the world and the Lord. And they are trying to make it work, you know, because there might be something in their life that they are not ready to rid themselves of. So they are trying to make it fit and conform to their walk with Christ. And I said in a previous video on my channel, where I talked about stay out of rooms that you don't belong in. And I'm kind of pull that message into this video. Stay out of rooms that you don't belong in on this walk with Christ. When you are trying to walk with Christ, you got to leave your old life behind. You can't try to bring your worldly, your old ways into your new life on your walk with Christ. It's just not going to work. You are going to be confused. And then, like I said, I see people out here and it's kind of sad for me to talk about it. I just, this is just what I be seeing. You know, people are losing their minds out here on this walk with Christ as well. Because they keep trying to mix messages from the devil and the Lord together. And they are confusing themselves and other people. They don't know that they are losing their mind. But they are. They are slowly but surely becoming mentally unstable, mentally insane, bad messages of confusion. They are mixing too many ideologies and people thoughts and opinions together along with theirs. And they are going crazy. And they put it out into the world. That's dangerous. You need to read the warning label behind what you are putting out in the world because you don't know who's going to pick this up and drink it. You putting out messages of confusion is like putting out poison. If you are feeling any sort of confusion on your walk, then you need to pray to the Lord about it. The Lord is not going to have you out and confused. The Lord is very clear and direct. He is going to always be the one to come and clear up any sort of confusion that you are having on your walk. He ain't going to have you out here feeling lost. He ain't going to have you out here questioning whether you should be walking this path for him. Because when a person is constantly indulging in messages of confusion, that's going to make you fall up off your walk. You are going to lose faith because at some point you are going to be deceived. It's a lot of people turning away from Christ because they are being deceived by so many other people. I'm going to keep consistently talking about this on my channel. Y'all need to know the Lord through and through. Y'all need your own personal relationship with the Lord. You cannot count on nobody else to do it for you. I keep seeing it a lot on land now to where too, where people are keep constantly wanting people to fix their problems for them. You can't look to nobody else for that. You got to look to the Lord for your strength. You got to look to the Lord for your answers. Nobody else can give you that. When you don't have a close relationship with the Lord, 
on your path and he is not helping you, he is not directing you and leading you along the way, you are going to manifest new problems when that's the case. When you feel it as though you don't hear the Lord speaking to you, you don't hear his presence, you don't feel close to him, that's a problem. You should feel close to the Lord. You should feel like you have your own personal relationship with him. You shouldn't feel like you always got to come on land and get a message or a word from somebody else. You should feel like, oh, let me talk to the Lord today. Let me pray to the Lord today. Let me see what direction do I need to be going today? Yeah, I hear this person over here. I appreciate their guidance. I take their guidance, but I love you, Lord. You come first. That's how it should be. I'm just sitting up here thinking about the people out here that's just really, you tell some people are struggling mentally. When I spoke about mental insanity on my channel. Y'all already know my story. But hand why I preach and preface it so much on my channel about mental health. A healthy mind is the best self-love that you could ever have. A healthy mind is going to keep you on fire for the Lord. You are not going to be able to walk this walk by yourself without him. You're going to have people that are going to be walking this walk with you. But they are not going to be walking for you. You're going to be walking this walk by yourself. You cannot depend on another person to pick you up and carry you on their back. Because all of us have our own paths. But all information is not good information. Some things you need to take and some things you need to leave. You don't need to take all of that in. You know how somebody just takes so many things in all at once? This is a way for you to become mentally unstable. It's when you are taking too many things in. Your mental capacity has limitations on it. You cannot overload your mind with too many things. You are going to go crazy. And when you are walking with Christ, and you are trying to develop spiritual growth, you cannot take every message. Some information is going to be dangerous for consumption, okay? It's just like eating a whole plate of food. You know you're full, but you still keep on eating and eating and eating and eating. And then all of a sudden you're sick. You're trying to figure out where you're sick because you overate. I'm not going to eat this whole thing of cookies, okay? I'm full already and I only had like two or three cookies. Let's see these cookies, 200 calories. Ain't no way in the world I'm finna be able to eat that whole thing of cookies. They look pretty, they look good, but I'm not finna eat all that. <laughs> y'all understand what I'm trying to say? Hopefully y'all get the gist of what I'm trying to say. You cannot take everything in. You're gonna drive yourself crazy. And y'all know my testimony about why I come and talk so much about the Lord, why I am a strong advocate for mental health. Being a mentally strong person is gonna help you on your walk with Christ as well. You are not going to be confused. You are not going to be led astray. Nobody is going to be able to deceive you or fool you because you got the Lord helping you. He is going to reveal things to you. He is going to give you spiritual lessons that you can't get from nobody else. And I'm just coming out speaking about this because it's just with the whole mental health, it's a lot of people out here losing their man. They losing their man. They mixing too many things in. They mixing religion in, spirituality, the Lord, witchcraft. Um, just all tarot readings, they, they mixing it all in together and trying to make it make sense. And they are driving themselves crazy and other people that they are leading. But yeah, just I be feeling bad for people that just be out here going crazy. Like you can tell that some people are losing their minds, you know, especially when it comes to speaking on certain topics and things like that. It's ain't me putting nobody on the spot, nothing like that. But I just, I'm just one of those type of people. I just like, I don't like seeing people lose their man. I know what it's like. I've seen so many people lose their man by taking in information. Okay, people automatically assume that you lose your man because of drugs. Drugs can make people lose their man. I've seen the person lose their man from a drug. Okay, they was perfectly sane at first. And then when they took a certain drug, it messed them up mentally. They are not the same today. That's why I always come and tell y'all my channel too. That you need to leave drugs and alcohol alone. Okay, that's another way that you become mentally insane. But I'm talking to the people out here that's really just suffering. Like, they need prayer. But sometimes you really have to pray for people. I just hope that the Lord grants people mental sanity. I just hope people build a closer connection with him. And know that he is real. He is real enough to want to build a relationship with. There's so many people out here being confused on this walk. 
Taking in too much information can be dangerous. Know what to take and what to leave. Okay, so hopefully I got something from this video. Hopefully it helped you in some way. Hopefully you have a strong faith and belief in the Lord. You have your own personal connection and relationship with him. Okay, continue to protect yourself in the spirit. And I will talk to y'all in the next video.